Flight test teams on the hunt for one of the coldest passenger airports in the world may have met their match in Yakutsk, Russia, a place where even a cup of hot water thrown in the air instantly turns to snow. The air is so cold your lungs just can't handle it. So your first breath you're going to cough and then shortly thereafter your all your hair on your face, if you have it, is going to freeze. In minus 40 degrees. The team took every precaution to shield themselves from the cold and keep each other safe. They've come here to see how the 737 MAX weathers a deep freeze. Well, our customers need to have confidence that the airplane will work in extreme conditions. And so, especially for most of our customers that live or work in extreme northern areas of the world, in Europe and in Canada, uh, this test is a really important piece of, of the certification. The 737 is renowned for its ability to operate on time around the world. And this frozen tundra would be no different. To get started, the flight test maintenance team drained the airplane of fluids and removed any equipment that might freeze. With no power going to the airplane and overnight temperatures dipping to nearly 40 below, this 737 MAX is wrapped in a blanket of frigid temperatures for a 12-hour slumber. Then we had to basically bring the airplane back to life, which they bring these big heater trucks up with hoses on them, They're like an octopus. It was a race against the clock. The team had to complete the test during daylight hours for safety. And in the dead of Siberian winter, daylight is in short supply. Once they put everything back in the airplane and tested the systems to see how they recovered from the cold, it was time for the 737 MAX to fly. We were very happy to, uh, to sit, number one, see the engines start normally, all the flight control systems and avionics perform normally.